Have you ever had to sign a document and it went something like this? Your email to form, you print the form, you sign the form, you scan the form back to yourself, and then you email that form to the sender, they repeat that whole process, and then finally, we have a completed form. Well, there's a lot of waste of time, energy, and paper in this whole process, and there has to be a better way, right? Correct. Stick around to find out more. One of the best moves we've made in the past couple of years is uh, to adopt an electronic signature software. And now there are a lot of great vendors out there. There's uh, Adobe Sign, there's DocuSign, there's PandaDoc, and all these are great vendors. And you're gonna wanna compare these vendors, especially when it comes to pricing. They all seem to do it a little bit different. But today I wanna talk to you about why you should adopt an electronic signature software and, and why you should be doing this in 2022. Although each of these vendors do things a little bit differently, the one thing that they all do exceptionally well is they have this ability to save companies time, energy, and money, and paper. The process of collecting signatures is incredibly uh, time consuming, so most small businesses really only see this as a cost. Well, that, we wanna try to break that mold, we wanna try to break that apart and show you actually how it should save you a lot of money as well as time and energy. DocuSign reports that about 82% of all agreements that are signed uh, electronically are signed in less than a day, while 50% of those documents are signed in less than 15 minutes. That is powerful efficiency. DocuSign actually created a great article on your return of investment, so I'm gonna put the link below so you can check that out. At our organization, we utilize Adobe Sign and we use this to uh, send out quotes for approval to our different customers. Uh, we use this for different legal documents, especially after we set up agreements where we'll send this out um, and it's a seamless process. It makes it incredibly efficient for our customers. Um, now, I'm not paid by Adobe to, to do this, but I just wanted to give you a glimpse into actually how this software works. Let's move to the demo. All right, what I got here is I created a custom quote for myself for uh, labor to create a video is going to cost me about a thousand bucks but if we want to go ahead and prep this document before we send it off we have authorizing signature and a date that i need signed to verify i have approval to go ahead and bill for this project so the bottom right here in the corner i have request e-signatures so i go ahead and click that and another box is going to come up here and prompt me for um where what address uh, recipient i want to send it to so i'm going to go ahead and send it to myself and I'm gonna go ahead and click here to specify where to sign. Now this is gonna upload it to Adobe Cloud in preparation for that document off electronically. And so here again we have, uh, here's my quote, and here's where we can customize where to sign. All I need to do is click where I want a, 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 a fill box to show up. So right here, I'm gonna click authorizing signature, I'm gonna drag it into this respective space. And I'm gonna take it the whole way out. There we go. And this is gonna actually be the signature field. So this is what they're gonna sign. I want one more box and let's go ahead and just set it up. Let's make it look all nice. There we go. And I'm gonna set this as the signatures date field. And really that's all there is to this specific quote. Your forms may uh, look a little different. They may, um, they may operate and feel a little bit differently, but we're gonna go ahead and send this off right now, send. All right, it's been successfully sent. So let's go ahead and check out the other end and see what it looks like to sign it. All right, and if we go to our email here, uh, I have one new request of signatures. So let's go ahead and do review and sign. And here we have our terms and conditions. We'll just click continue at the bottom. And we'll go ahead and click start. And we'll click the sign here. We're gonna click. And we're going to go ahead and we can either type out our signature, we can draw a signature. If we have an image, uh, we can actually upload an image as a signature. That, that's pretty common in the business world. And lastly, you know, if I'm on a mobile device, I can actually scroll, uh, uh, draw around on my screen to make my signature. But I'm going to go ahead and just type it out for, for this sake. And I am going to go ahead and say Nick Martin. Let's go ahead and plot, apply this. And there you can see it. And we're going to go ahead and click the sign. We're all set. It's going to go ahead and email me uh, both parties of document, both the sender and recipient, a copy of this quote signed. Using this method has saved us countless hours since we have adopted it into our organization. We're a huge advocate for automating and productivity and creating better efficiencies. And so if you're an organization that does anything with signing, um, 
this is definitely a method you're going to want to check out. If you need help figuring out which vendor is right for you or you need any technology help, please feel free to reach out to us at MainStreetITSolutions.com or by calling us at 717-354-8385. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It greatly helps us out.